Hey guys, it's Ro. I got some requests to make something from the show Shimmer and Shine. For those of you who aren't familiar with the show Shimmer and Shine, it is an animation series about twin genies in training named Shimmer and Shine. Mm -hmm. They grant wishes for their friend Leo, which often leads to magical adventures, and they have really cute pets named Hall and Tala. Hey, you guys! Cupcake's not ready yet. Go over dear. Because I love the show, I watched the whole first season, I decided to partner with Nickelodeon, who supported and collaborated with me on this video in celebration of season two coming out on June 15th, which is a week away from my birthday. I wanted to make a bake good from the series, and in season one, Shimmer Shine and Leah make cupcakes for a bake sale. When I was watching the episode, it was so cute, you guys. I was like, <gasps> I wanna make those cupcakes. So today, we are gonna be making the cupcakes that they made for the bake sale. Let's get started. The things you will need to make these cupcakes will be one and one third cup of all purpose flour, a third cup of water, quarter cup of oil, one and a third cup of granulated sugar, two thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two thirds cup of firmly packed light brown sugar, four eggs, one cup of sour cream, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one and a half teaspoons of of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, and pink silicone cupcake liners. Then to decorate, the things you will need will be lots of vanilla buttercream frosting. I've put them into piping bags and dyed them pink with a number 829 tip at the end. Purple, yellow, and teal sprinkles, bright pink and lavender fondant, a fondant rolling pin, small brush, small teardrop cookie cutter, and a number six tip. Tip. The first thing that we're gonna do in a large mixing bowl is we are gonna whisk together our dry ingredients. You're gonna add your flour, cocoa powder, brown sugar, granulated sugar, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, and salty salty. Whisk together until it's well combined and then we're gonna set it off to the side. And now we are gonna mix together our wet ingredients in a smaller mixing bowl, starting with our eggs. You're gonna add the full egg into the bowl. Then you're gonna add your water and your vanilla extract. We're gonna whisk this together first to make adding the other two ingredients a little bit easier. Once you've broken the yolks, now you're gonna add your oil and sour cream. Then whisk together one more time until well combined. We've got our dry ingredients mixed together and our wet ingredients, and now we're gonna combine both of them. You're gonna pour all of your wet ingredients into your dry. Then you're gonna take your hand mixer. I'm using an electric hand mixer. You can use a whisk and do this by hand, but I'm gonna be using a hand mixer to make it a little bit easier. Cause I'm not a genie, I don't have magical pears. Mmm, our chocolate cupcake batter is all ready. It is almost time to bake. Now we have to scoop our batter into our little cupcake liners. Over here I've got my cupcake tray lined with a bunch of these pink silicone liners. Sometimes I use paper, but if I'm using a lighter color, I like to use the ones that are foil lined or silicone because these are reusable. And on the inside, they even have a line that shows you how full you should fill your cupcake. So we're gonna take a little ice cream scoop, which this holds about an ounce and a third. And we're just gonna do a scoop and fill them all up. Our cupcake tray is filled. We've got a dozen cupcakes ready to bake, and this recipe makes twice that. It makes about 24 cupcakes, so as soon as these are done baking, I can put in another batch. Now we're gonna heat our oven to 325 and bake for about 18 to 20 minutes. While our cupcakes are baking in the oven, we are gonna make some decorations. In the episode, the cupcakes that Shimmer Shine and Leah make are chocolate cupcakes with pink frosting topped with a pink flower. So over here, we are gonna make our pink flowers. I have a piece of parchment paper which I've taped down onto the work surface so that the fondant doesn't stick. And I've rolled out our pink fondant and our lavender fondant. And now we are gonna cut out some petals and make some fondant flowers. The first thing that you're gonna do is take your little tear-shaped cookie cutter. Oh, so sad. And we're gonna cut out little flower petals. Each flower is gonna need six petals. The petals are looking good. Now we're gonna cut out the center of our flowers so that they look just like the ones from the episode. I am using a number six tip, but you can use any tip you like because we are gonna be using the back end of the tip to cut out a whole bunch of little circles. The shapes are cut out. Time to assemble them. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Each flower has six petals. So we're just gonna start with the first one, layer the second one, and then the third 
third one. Kind of looks like a little pinwheel. It would go all the way around. I've layered the petals. I put a little bit of pressure in the middle so that they'll all stick together. Then we're gonna take our little baking brush and a little bit of water I've got here. I'm just gonna place a drip right in the middle. This is gonna act as an adhesive for our lavender fondant to stick to our pink fondant. The next part is totally optional. You don't need to do it. You could just make a bunch of flowers just like this and then let them sit out so that they will harden in this shape. But I want my flower to look like a blooming flower. I want them to kind of curve up. So a really easy trick when you're working with fondant, if you would like it to sit in a certain position, you could use different objects that you have around your house. I am using these little small bowls. I'm gonna flip it upside down and take my little fondant flower and I'm gonna set him right on top and his little petals will mold to the side of the bowl and I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes. Once your cupcakes have baked and completely cooled, now it is time to frost and decorate. I put them on top of a cookie sheet so that when we're adding our sprinkles, it will catch all of the extras that don't stick to the frosting. And over here, I have our pink vanilla buttercream frosting in a plastic baggie with a star tip at the end. It kind of looks jagged like shark teeth. Now we're gonna frost. I'm gonna be adding two swirls on the top of the cupcake because that's what they look like in the episode. But if you want to have less frosting, just do one big swirl. I'm taking a pinch of my sprinkles right away and sprinkling them over the top so that they'll stick to the icing. Then we're gonna do this to the rest of our cupcakes. Final decoration step. We're gonna add our flower toppers to our cupcakes. We're just gonna place it right in the middle. Boom. Boom. Now we're gonna do this to the rest of our cupcakes. Ta-da! Here are the cupcakes that we made today from Shimmer and Shine, episode the sweetest thing. I love them because they are adorable. They look just like the ones from the show. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll be taking lots of pictures and posting them on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make these cupcakes, please send me your photos. I love seeing your baking creations. Aww. It just makes my day. Also, if you guys want to check out Shimmer and Shine, it will be airing the second season on Nickelodeon in June. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Thanks again for watching you guys. Bye bye. You know what you guys I made these the normal way but I'm wondering if I can make them the shimmer and shine way. Boom zarame! <gasps> it worked. Yum 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 yum. Huh? Um, yum 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 yum.